Close your eyes and watch your breath. The Buddha's word for meditation, bhavana, means to develop. You're trying to develop qualities of mind. So you're watching your breath. You have to remember to stay here. And you have to be alert to what you're doing. So that ability to remember what you're doing, that's mindfulness. And alertness is to watch what you're doing. And the third quality is ardency. You try to stick with this. If any other thought comes up, just let it go, let it go. You try to really seriously stay with the breath. Don't put too much pressure on it. Just find the right amount of pressure. So when the breath comes in, you're with it all the way in, with it all the way out. And as you develop the, the qualities of mindfulness and alertness, the mind begins to calm down around the breath. It gets a sense of well-being, that the breath is a good place to say. You can adjust the breath if it's not comfortable. You make it longer, shorter, deeper, shallow, lighter, heavier, to see what kind of breathing feels good for you right now. And then allow yourself to rest here. As the Buddha says, you indulge in the sense of well-being that comes from this. At first it may not be much, but as you sit with it, this, the feeling that the mind doesn't have to tense up and get ready to jump someplace else has a good Im impact both on the mind and on the body. We need a place to rest like this, because the mind is running around all day long otherwise. Even when we sleep, we dream about this, that, and the other thing. It doesn't have any chance to really rest and see itself at the same time. When it rests in sleep, it's totally oblivious. But when you rest in and are alert like this, you begin to see this is how the mind moves. This is how the mind talks to itself. This is how the mind hides things from itself, plays tricks on itself. You get to see all these things very clearly. And that way you begin to see through them, so you don't get fooled by the mind's tendency to lie to itself or to hide things from itself. So you're still but aware at the same time, and this is a really good state of mind to develop. Because it's only when you're aware of your own mind that you begin to see, okay, this is how it creates unnecessary suffering and this is how it can stop. You see why the suffering, why the stress is unnecessary, because you have an alternative. And the alternative comes from being very careful and watching the mind very still in watching the mind, very clear in watching the mind. But first you start by watching the breath, because the breath is the closest thing you can get to the mind that's in your body. And working with the breath, you also learn a lot about the mind in the process of settling down with the breath. So it's good to take the breath as your object. You learn a lot about the body, you learn about the mind as you really pay careful attention to this very simple process.